rest of the year. You flew in all the way from uh, the Netherlands, right? Yeah. How far of a flight is that? Uh, 11 hours. Jesus. Yeah. The things you do for Rampage Jackson. <laughs> but listen, guys, we have Gregor Mwasi, probably one of the greatest fighters to ever fight. Everybody knows this man is a dog, and the people he fought is one of the biggest dog lists there is. It is an honor to have you here at the Jackson House in Thank Newport you. Beach. Thanks man, for having man, me. Man, I had no idea that you was in the Netherlands. Yeah, hey, I used to uh, train with Alistair a bit. Yeah, yeah. Alistair? Yeah, Alistair Overham is also from Holland. You know, oh, that, you, right? you, know I love, you know I love Alistair Overham. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, we, we, we fought on many cars together in, in, in Pride. Pride, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, I know, I know. He's a good guy. I love yeah. his coach. I don't like some of his teammates because one of his teammates fucked one of my girlfriends. But. <laughs> <laughs> happens. <laughs> so that's a, that's a common thing in the Netherlands? No, not really. But, I mean, I heard many stories in the, in the gym, trainer, uh, Takes the girl of the student, whatever. You know, I'm, I'm not going. I'm not going to say the name of his teammate that fucked one of my girlfriends. Like You're gonna one, name him. Uh, I'm not going to name him. I'm not going to name him. I'm yeah. not. I'm not going to do that. Even though I've been drinking tequila for what like. What was his couple, name? Gil Avell or something? Was it? Oh, Gilbert Ivo. Gilbert Ivo. Why, why you? <laughs> what? I said I was going to name him. Why you name him? Oh, I don't know. I don't. We don't have to say it. Have we, you ever we already with, said it. Oh, yeah, you already said it. Why, why, you do, why you do that, man? I don't know what the guy's name was. <laughs> Gilbert Avell or something like that. I'm not going to say his name, but if it you was just him. just fucking said his name. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This okay, guy yeah. fucked my first <laughs> Japanese girlfriend when I first fought in Japan. What? Real talk. No. Yeah. Are you still hurt? No, I don't give a fuck. No, you're still hurt. <laughs> no, no, no. This no, is no. a sore sense of subject no, no, for him. No, no, I don't give a yeah. fuck. Have you ever trained with Gibbert Evel? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's a no, good guy, though. Yeah, he's a good guy, but uh, <laughs> he's, he's a party guy. guy. <laughs> don't, don't, don't he's go a party with your guy. girl there. I heard all the stories. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll hit on your girlfriend if, yeah, you're, even yeah. if, you're, if you're next to her. Yeah, so. yeah. He's a good guy, but don't bring your girlfriend around. No, no, no. Don't bring it. Hey, oh. bring him around so you can fuck your best girlfriend. It's big. It's... <laughs> Yo, everybody keep your girls at home, dude. Rampage is on a killing spree right now. He got the new uh, Javier's tequila. What's this? 1995 Anejo. You drink. Hey, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Cheers, great guy. We appreciate Good you taste. coming, brother. Thanks for Rampage, having me. Yeah. We appreciate you. I, I like to mix mine with um, cranberry. I like to mix tequila with cranberry because um, mm. I've been drinking since I was like eight years old. Oh, God. <laughs> Real talk. But yeah. I just don't like the way alcohol tastes. So mm. I got to mix it. Yeah, I drink only to get drunk, guys. <laughs> really. I get drunk. Yeah. You get drunk? What do you right well, now? Why, why, why would you drink if you're not going to get drunk? Why would you put those calories in? Or Well, you just spent half an hour telling the girls in front of our guests that you could drink all day long and you wouldn't get drunk. I, didn't, I never said that. Yeah, you did. I get, I'm drunk right now. No, you're not. I'm fucked up. Does he look drunk? <laughs> A would little you, bit. He, he can control himself. The last time he, he, he looks saw, like, uh, yeah, yeah. He looks like uh, he can control himself. Yeah. I, can, <laughs> I can control myself. The last time he saw me, this is probably the first time he saw me see me drunk. So he probably don't know. When this, was the last time you seen him? Years. Yeah, but I, I don't remember. Yeah, My I don't memory know. is so bad you can't convince me of everything. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Would you rather fight Rampage drunk no, or no. sober? None of them. He's, he's big. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but you you fought light heavyweight before. Uh -huh. Light heavyweight, heavyweight even. I fought Mark Hunt also. You fought Mark Hunt? Yeah, yeah. Mark, Mark Hunt, I, I, Vitor I Belfort, that Chris Wyman, Jacques yeah. Ray, Rory McDonald, Douglas Lima, yeah. Machida twice. I, I fought mean, come uh, on. K1 also. Two times. I know you fought uh, K1, yeah. but, I, but I didn't know you fought Mark Hunt. Yeah, I won that one actually. Yeah. <laughs> Mark Hunt is a tough motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Back then, uh, he was there was no limit in Japan. But it was like two eighty, something yeah. like that. Yeah. And I was eating McDonald's, so it wasn't really like muscle. I was two fifteen. Yeah, yeah. You, I, I had sleepless night before that fight. I was like, oh fuck! If I don't take this guy down, he's gonna knock me out. <laughs> so, so tell me how they tell me how they fight because obviously yeah. I missed that one. Yeah, I, I won pretty quickly. I just punched, took him down, and. Uh, Submitted him in one minute. Was that early on in his MMA career? No, no, no. Uh, he already had fought Fedor and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But uh, he was losing and that at that time. He was on a losing string. Mm. I don't know if we, he was serious in training, but you know, I don't know. When I took him down, he, when, once the he heavy guys are on the ground, they're not that good. You know, they're too heavy, not explosive enough to get up. So I, I was easily controlling him. So so yeah. be honest, the, the K1 guys... Looked at us MMA guys the same way we looked at them. When, well, let me let me try. Yeah. I, I apologize. I'm I'm drunk, so bear with me. Yeah. So the K1 guys, hold on, time out. I'm go trying ahead. to get this no, out. Go ahead, go ahead. I've been drinking, but I'm trying to get this out. Go ahead. So the K1 guys looked at us the same way they looked at us when we went to K1. You've been to K1, yeah, yeah. And when the K1 guys came to MMA, did you kind of like 
looked at them like, oh, you a K1 guy coming to MMA? Because when I went to K1, they looked at me like, oh, this motherfucker is about to get knocked out. Yeah, I know, I know. They, they gave me two Japanese fighters. They were One of them was champion. Both of them, they thought I would lose, but I won both. And then, but the other way around, Crow Cup came from K1. So it, it depends on the person. Right, so, yeah. so if I'm ever going to give props to any K1 fighter to come to over to MMA yeah. and do well, I'm going to say Crow Cop yeah. and Mark Hunt. Those are two guys. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And anybody else? Well, we, well, we know uh, then, Alistair over Alistair but, became but he K1. Was, yeah, but he was already an MMA. I feel like he was an MMA guy. Yeah, he was MMA and then he went to K1, but he won the Grand Prix. He won the Grand, yeah, Prix, yeah. Grand Prix. Yeah, yeah. But, but I, I consider him for some, I don't know if he did. I know he was a kickboxer. From Holland, yeah, he was, but he wasn't that good in the beginning. Right, he, he was. He lost a couple before he, uh, and then he did only MMA, and then later he went to K one. Right, so I, I, I would consider him an MMA guy going yeah, to K one, hundred percent. So I would say the K one guys that came over from K one to MMA was and did great yeah. was Mark Hunt and Kroko. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know anyone else. I do. I mean, think about the people this guy beat: Dan Henderson, Mashida, McDonald, Belfort, Jacare. You beat Chris Belfort. Weidman. That yeah, but Lima. when he was not on the juice, so it was. <laughs> I don't know if that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that counts. Oh, you know? oh my! Oh my! You can tell the difference. What, was a different. Really? Yeah. Well, he didn't look the same. He looked like he aged ten years. Yeah. In one month. <laughs> oh my god! Are you still fighting actively? I want to fight, but uh, a little bit difficult with PFL. They don't uh, honor the contract, but uh, we see. I, you know, it might not just be the contract. I think. Because you're such a, a established fighter and your your accolades, I think maybe some fighters might be scared to fight no, you. No, I don't think so. I think it's just uh, they think I I get paid too much, but mm. they took over the contract and Bellator fighters make more than the PFL guys, so they're trying to cut the maybe put pressure a little bit politics. Let me uh, not fight for a year, then they can uh, come and say hey, uh, take half. Oh, Stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's fucked up because you're still young. Like what, what? 39, 39. Yeah, bro, 38, 38, but almost 39 now. Bro, I haven't fought for a year already, so. Bro, that's still yeah. young. I haven't fought for four years. Yeah. So that's still young. But, yeah, if they let me fight. <laughs> yeah, but what, can we kind of understand yeah. a little bit what's going on with the PFL and, and Bellator? Because they merge. We know they yeah. had the super fight because we had a... Um, multiple people kind of explain to us that their contracts are kind of being tampered with in a way, yeah. right? So can yeah. you kind of break it down for us? Well, well, when they took over, they wanted all the top ten fighters. That's what I. That's what they said. And then, uh, I think Bellator fighters are also the better fighters. They they won six to one, I think, uh, yeah. last event. And uh, but uh, Bellator fighters get paid also more than the PFL guys. So now they have to cut because they're not making a lot of money. So. But I thought PFL was um, backed by a lot of money. Last I heard, Kevin Hart like invested in it. Yeah, like what? What was the point of merging then if they didn't have money, or what's the, when not having the best fighters fight? I think they want to have to be the number two. Now, after UFC, they want to be number two, so they're now number two, I guess. But I don't hear them making any money. Uh, so are you still even one FC is like if you look at it, you're like, oh, so big show, but they lose money all the time. Are you still training even though you're not fighting? Uh, I I trained and I let go. I train, I let go because you you don't get motivated. Yeah. Yeah. I hundred percent. I agree with what he's saying. hundred percent. If you don't have a fight, like when you, people don't understand, you know how the fitness, fitness people, they love training. You know, you see on social media, yeah. they love training. And some of them talks, one of my, one of my coaches, Sean Rez, yeah. he's a, he's a fucking fitness guru and he loves social media he, influence. He don't understand that when I don't have a fight, I'm not motivated to mm. train as hard as he want me to train. Sometimes when you don't have a fight, you just not motivated. We, we, we love training, but it's different yeah. from them. They do it for different reasons than us. When I was younger, I would train the whole year. But afterwards, uh, you get too many fights. You like you train only when you have a fight because you don't want to... You When you have a fight, you want to be motivated to train. Because if you train the whole year, and when you have a fight, you train every day. Suddenly, you have to train two times. Uh, yeah. You're going to burn yourself out. You're going to burn so, yourself yeah. out. Yeah. So you only... Really train that hard when you have a fight. Yeah, people yeah. don't people don't understand. That. I wish people would really take their time to understand fighters and our mentality. Yeah. Like we're a different breed. We just you're we, for sure a different breed. We're a different breed. Yeah, well, you're for sure a different breed. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. Everything he says is fucking. No, no, no. You're just you're you're on a different level than most people. 
you train crazy, you party crazy, you talk crazy, you dress crazy, you behave crazy. You're you're your own animal. It's right? alpha, right? Yeah, you're <laughs> yeah. alpha. Yeah. Oh, hey, this is hey, this is hey, this is, this is people. This is the thing that people don't know about us. Yeah. Us MMA fighters. Why you say us? Why don't you say all of us? Because you're not an MMA fighter. You're I'm not in the same group brother. as me. I'm undefeated. Me, you're not in the same group as me. <laughs> I know I'm not even close to you guys, but I'm undefeated. Because The only reason why you're undefeated because you never had a fight. I'm still undefeated. You never been battle tested. The, I don't think enough people, everybody who knows MMA knows who you are. But people need to understand, this is one of the baddest to ever fight at his yes, weight class listen, and one of the baddest I, to ever fight around the world. Hey. Every, every organization, this man has smashed people's skulls yes. into the ground. Listen, I'm an MMA fighter. I got mad respect for him. I'm looking right at the camera and tell you, this guy right here is one of the realest. He's one of the baddest. So, yes, I got mad respect for him, but do I got respect for Barrett, who never fought <laughs> No. But but I got respect that Barrett's trying to learn. He's learning boxing. And I can say this right now. Yeah. He's trying to learn boxing since we've been doing the podcast. We put the boxing ring in there and stuff, and he's beginning. Every sparring partner I bring here, Barrett would get in there and warm the sparring partner up for me. And yeah, I broke my rib yesterday. He, oh, yeah. Every time he gets hit, he broke No, he no, I, I shattered my tibialis. So yeah. It's, yeah. yeah, it's okay. But listen, hey, as no, we let me talk about the no, UFC, no, try to cut me off. Him about, oh, go, no, go no, I'm trying to cut me off. Go ahead. Every time you get hit, he broke something. Yeah. Every time. <laughs> so fuck that. So so what you got to understand is him and I, we're Conrads. So we got mad respect. You're not in that group yet. No, I know. All but, right. But we're working on that. We're working on that. So you gotta you gotta res, <laughs> you gotta respect the fighters. So we're a little bit different. We are we are the alphas of the of the fucking we we the alphas of the man pool. I agree. We are the alphas. He is an alpha. Absolutely. What time? One time thing no, I no, know, no, 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 no. You fuck left that. the UFC on a five fight win streak. Yeah. You got to explain this to me. Yeah, I was at the end. I was winning. Uh, I had one more fight. They wanted. I had my contract was yeah. finished, so they, they wanted uh, to. But then GSP came after two years retirement. He got a title fight. Then Henderson has lost five, one, one fight. They gave him title shot. But they wanted to give me one more fight, and then maybe they would have given me title uh, fight. But they weren't paying me enough. I knew uh, Jack Ray was making uh, his contract was also finished at the same time, and uh, they w I wasn't clo even close to his uh, purse. Mm. So I was like, "Yeah, fuck that." Uh, Bellator paid me twice, twice more. I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna go." Yeah. Yeah, Bellator wow. paid really good. Yeah. There's yeah. one thing I like about. <laughs> yeah, 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 because if you want the f big names of the other promotion, you have to pay. So they want to steal each other's fighter. You have to pay more. That's one thing about Bellator. They, they didn't. They didn't give you um, pay per view dollars, but you made more with purse. Yeah. But at the time, UFC wasn't selling a whole lot of pay per views. Only if you was like Conor McGregor or Ronda Rousey at that time. Right? Yeah. But even Mighty Mouse didn't get pay per view points. No. So it depends how your contract is. They right. don't want to give you any money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If they can. <laughs> Just, what, what, what you need to learn, I don't, I, I'm, I'm sure you might know this. I'm, I'm sorry to keep shitting on you about not being a fighter, but I respect my Conrad. Oh, I love him. <laughs> I, got, I just want to teach you. flew 20 hours around the pond to come here. Thank you. I just want to teach you about the Conrad. Yeah. So our first fight is with the promoter. That's yeah, our yeah. first fight. Yeah, yeah. Always. Always. Yeah, yeah like uh, Bellator. That's a good point. They paid well, but I wasn't fighting enough. Uh, UFC, I would fight a lot regularly, but uh, they wouldn't pay much. Now, PFL, I don't even fight. So every promotion has its own thing. You know, with pride, you have different... Uh, there's always something with promotion. You have to deal with uh, promoters and stuff. What it's about different. this? What yeah. about this? Would you ask PFL, like, look, you guys are not using me because I know some contracts are structured a certain way where, like, look, you don't you guys use me in the year. Fuck you. I can leave. Would you Would you be willing to go to Risen and, like, look here. Let, what, what weight class you you willing well, to 185. Fight? Yeah. But, yeah. 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 I, last time I said, hey, uh, I go 205, just give me a fight. But uh, they're on radio silence. It's like uh, they did, the UFC did that with Orlovsky also. They, they, didn't, they didn't give him a fight for a year. I don't know. It's uh, politics. And, uh, it is politics. Yeah. But I can tell you, I can tell you this. They owe me the fight. That's, that I know, you know. Right. I can tell you this. He's a, he, he, I'm be I'm be a hundred. He would be a tough opponent, right? Oh, of course. So a lot of fighters are, wouldn't be excited to fight him. Of course. So and, that's, and then, and we could see that from from the business side, you know. But I, I don't side. understand in terms of like UFC though. I mean, you did Pride, you did Dream, you did Strikeforce, UFC, Bellator. I mean, all the, all the different organizational owners you've been through. 
I mean, there has to be a reason to like starting from UFC, for example, what was the reasoning you think they didn't want to raise your pay or bring you to that next level? Well, if they don't want to, if they don't need to pay you, they, they won't pay you. Mm. Only if you're like fan favorite or, uh, you know, uh, if you're whatever, English, uh, like Michael Bisping, if you have a, you can uh, sell a fight, then they will pay you more. It just, uh, okay, they pay you what you're worth, you know, but uh, if they, if they can pay you less, they definitely going to do that. And yeah, they make good sense. money. I mean, uh, it's not like they cannot pay. But yeah, it's no. like, even for 10000 they will come and, oh, no, that's too expensive. And then you hear what they make a year, $1.2 billion, and like, okay, you're going to pay <laughs> even, the, it's nothing, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's did, nothing. Did, did any, any fighter ever work out how much UFC or any of the big shows made per event? Did any fighter this? I'm not smart enough to break that shit down because at the end of the day, I'm going to be honest, I don't give a fuck. I love fighting. I don't love money, but... I like money. Yeah. You, know you need saying? money. I think you at, at the end it. of the you're free. You can take care of your family. If they don't pay any uh, other fighters, no one's going to fight. I you're hear right. some fighters, I fight for honor. I fight for my country. I'm like, okay, don't pay him. He's not going to come. <laughs> right. First, <laughs> you have to make a living. It's not a hobby. Yeah. Right. Maybe a little bit hobby, but it's still work. Right. I, 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 I will be honest when I say any fighter they talk about, they don't fight for money, they're lying. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Because, because this is the thing, though. We have injuries that would last us a fucking no. lifetime if we don't take care of it. So you have to, you have to have some type of, you know, say monetary Com conversation. conversation. Yeah, yeah, you have to. Yeah, yeah. I, I know my knee hurts, this hurt, the hands hurt. Uh, you have to see how old the way if you all get old well, you know, bro. Yeah. I, I I've had days when I was I would be getting in and out of my cars, and I would have pain from my, my knees yeah. going up and downstairs and I just remember the fights when I, where I got injured and I'd be like no yeah. I should have paid more yeah yeah you, you put in the work you put your health on the line and then uh, so of course the promotion wants to make money you, I understand the business you understand, side yeah. is uh, but they make they could have like what I thought about uh, UFC was with the Reebok deal with the sponsorship the fighters would make good money some of them. So even that they took away from the fighters. And then you would fight for a Reebok and they would give you 4,000. We're like, like, come on. You can, you can do better than that. Brother, did yeah. you, do you know that's a touchy subject for me? Yeah. Do you know why? Why? What happened with Reebok? That was my deal. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm the one that brought Reebok to UFC. That's why I yeah. left. You didn't know this? No, no, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, so I, I, I teamed up with Reebok yeah. and we did a deal. And they were supposed to sponsor me. We did commercials and all this shit. And I'm I'm gonna say it right now. Reebok can come after me right now if I'm fucking lying. I got fucking receipts. <laughs> I got fucking receipts. Yeah. Reebok yeah. sponsored me, and we did a, a commercial. They gave me a shoe. Yeah. Uh, it was supposed to be like a. Um, they did a shoe. It's an ugly ass shoe, but I like the shoe. <laughs> but listen though. I like now the you shit. can say it. Though. I, no, no, I'm keeping it 100. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a fuck if Reebok come after yeah. me because I'm because what I'm saying right now, I don't have to say allegedly. I'm telling you 100 yeah. percent truth. Reebok and I had a uh, a deal. We 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 had a um, we we uh, Reebok and I we was in bed together. We had a deal. They gave me a shoe. It was an off road shoe where you can start running and doing like um, you know, running on trails yeah, and stuff yeah. that. The shoe was ugly, but I'm tell you what though. I'm tell you what though. I like the shoe, you know why? Yeah. Cuz it really worked. Yeah. They came out with it was a different design and they had like it had like prongs or whatever you want to call it on the outside of the shoe. The shoe was really good and it worked for what it was for, like running on the trails, not just running on the street, like yeah. running on like like you know when people hiking and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I Say know. you run those hiking yeah. trails. The shoe really worked. I I I love the shoe. And it was just totally different, right? And Reebok sponsored me. And they paid me like, hey, we're going to do a photo shoot. I get to the photo shoot. It was commercial with me and a other, another football player. And um, from my memory, because I've been punched a lot and stuff like that, I can't remember the football player's name because I don't watch football. Yeah. But he was a famous football player yeah. at the time. And long story short, they was going to sponsor me for my UFC fight. That's why I left UFC. UFC like, no, Rampage can't be sponsored by Reebok because we don't, Dana White himself said, we don't have a deal with Reebok. Yeah. 
I was like, you don't got to deal with my other sponsors. Why you want to have a deal with fucking Reebok? I brought many sponsors. I brought Boost Mobile over to, to UFC. You know, I was sponsored by Monster Energy. I was sponsored by all these other things. I was like, why you need to fucking have a relationship with, he said, we don't have a relationship with, with Reebok. Yeah. I said, you got these other sponsors that you don't have a relationship with. I already bought Bruce Mobile over. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, it was also with the EA games. When I was in Strike Force, when we were in the EA game, we would get a percentage. Uh, but UFC doesn't do that. Right. All the money goes to uh, right. UFC. I'm like, That's I not mean, fair. Yeah, it's small. They can lose, They can give the money a little bit to the fighters. But even that, those things are like, okay, I understand. They're cheap in that way. Bro, th yeah. bro, it's not fair because at the end yeah. of the day, we're the ones putting our Yeah, help. we do the hard work. We do the hard yeah. work. And 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 UFC stole my my Reebok sponsors. You know what I did? I fought Glover, and I lost. And they they didn't interview me. <laughs> I lost. I thought I was gonna win that fight, but I was I was coming off an injury. But I did it. Fuck it, I lost. And they didn't interview me. And they interview and they interview Glover, but they painted a the picture like I retired from MMA. But all I did was sign with Bellator, yeah. and they stole my Reebok my Reebok sponsor. And they painted a picture like, oh, Rampage is retiring. Yeah. So I was fighting in Bellator for years. And every time, every now and then, UFC is the biggest show in town. Every now and then, I would bump into other fighters. I mean, I'm sorry. Every now and then, I would bump into other fans. They, they say, oh, why you retire? I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> I just had a fight last yeah. week. They won't even mention like Bellator in the podcast. Like they don't even want to be, there, that there is a second promotion. They don't. They even ignore that UFC. If you yeah. watch the uh, commentators, they never said Bellator champion. Yeah, he's double champion in a different organization and uh, yeah, stuff like that. They do all that. They do a lot. But yeah. I think that was the downfall of, of that's the first downfall of the UFC. UFC is doing really good. Yeah, yeah. But I, th I think that the bad the bad point about them is they got all the fighters at, at that one at that one time wearing. Reebok I th clothes. I think the problem with that was, uh, if, mm -hmm. I, if I have my opinion, but I think they did the Reebok deal and they did USADA because a lot of fighters mm -hmm. were getting caught because they wanted to sell, <laughs> sell the company. You cannot have a company with, I don't know, so grow a uh, weed shop on the, on the shorts or, uh, you know, with the guys getting caught. So they did, they cleaned up a little bit and they sold it. They I sold think that, yeah. But yeah. like even that, I'm like, okay, you sold the company, you can get, some fighters like 10,000, not much, but thank you. This, you know, it doesn't mean a lot, but maybe you still feel, feel like, oh, they sold the company for 4 billion. Here's a check for 10,000. I don't, I don't, I'm not waiting for that money, but for some fighters that make 10 plus 10, that's a lot of money. He's 100% right. Yeah, yeah I mean, a little bit more human. You, you, you fought in Pride in Strike Force and UFC, Bellator, all of them. What do you think was the, the best MMA organization you ever fought for? I think Pride was uh, with the show, with the build up. Yeah. Pride was the best. Pride was the best. Yeah. Pride. Our first fights, I would get, uh, after the fights, I would get cash money. <laughs> yeah. I would go home. But you made, I, I would assume you made more money in UFC. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but well, Pride, Bellator, Bellator. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, made, I made more money in Bellator without the pay-per-view. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you're right. Purse. Per, okay, we're talking about purse. So, purse-wise, yeah, Bellator paid the most. Yeah. But Pride was the most was the best. Yeah, yeah. The, the build up, the, I don't know, the show. But now UFC is everyone in the same clothes. You cannot come mm -hmm. in uh, like yeah. uh, with a rapper or whatever. It's it's all very... Oh my God. Yeah. Why wouldn't they let us walk out with rappers? Like Dana yeah, or White something, got... something, yeah. He got mad when I wanted to have my own fucking song. He wanted to choose my fucking song yeah, for me. Yeah, he called me also with that. I, I had a song out and it, normally he never calls. He never calls me. <laughs> he called me <laughs> like, hey, uh, how about that song of yours? Uh, maybe change that one. And he's the president, so you feel like pressure. What was the song? I don't know. It was, but it started slow, but it would get upbeat. But he he thought it was not upbeat anymore. And one time he also called me. It was like like uh, for Fido Belfort. Two week notice. He said, "Hey, come fight." Uh, hey, buddy, how are you? I said, "Yeah, I'm good." Uh, <laughs> like he never calls me. So I said, "I said, yeah, good. Yeah, you want to fight Fido Belfort in two weeks?" I said, "Sure, but uh, will, will I get paid more?" <laughs> oh well, no. But uh, okay, we call you back. And then they, they had someone else and never called me back. But even that, in two week notice, they didn't want to pay a little bit more. But they can afford it. But even that, they're like cheap as. Did you have a good relationship with Dana White? Yeah, he liked me. I like him. Also. Yeah, I, I don't blame him for anything. I know he's, he's actually business. a good guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a business guy. He's yeah, a business he's, guy. He's, I blame him. Dana White is actually a good guy, but he's like he's a, a he's business, a true yeah. business guy. And you got to respect that. 
Yeah, I don't have an, ex an experience with him as a fighter, yeah. but I know on a business level, I think he's one of the best probably president organizational heads he's any good, industry yeah. has ever had. You can't the take guy, that away from yeah, him. Yeah, the guy no, no, no. made, yeah. you guys are considered pro elite athletes. You're not, it, it, like he, he built this organization yeah. and then allowed these athletes to basically be worldwide competitors. One thing I want to know is what was this fight, this exhibition with Fedor? Well, <laughs> explain this to me. How did it even come about? Well, I had that the manager. He was working with Fadim Finkelstein, and uh, that my so they knew each other. And I, I was in the M one, and they were bringing me up with Fedor, like uh, behind him to get my name up there. And they said, "Yeah, let's do an exhibition. We pay you five thousand dollars." I'm like, "Okay." They didn't explain nothing. Yeah, five thousand dollars. I said, "Okay." Against well, Fedor. Yeah, but the exhibition. So I said, okay, sure. So it's better for my name. People are going to get to know me. Yeah. And um, I, they gave me a judo or sambo suit. Uh, <laughs> and they put me in the, in the ring. And no, they didn't discuss the rules. So I was like, okay, you know, I, it's Fedor. I, I respect him. So I was letting him drag, throwing him around. And he was like, yeah, take me also down. And I was like, okay. I took him one down. And then he... Put an armbar on me, and I thought, okay, after this, yeah, I tapped. I was like, okay, now we continue again with the show. And it was finished. I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know that. And then eventually they didn't even pay me the 5000 <laughs> Wait, M1? Yeah, M1? Yeah. yeah, yeah, but I had a shitty manager. He was like, yeah, some Saudi prince or the king, he wants to pay you 5000 a month. I'm like, oh, that's nice. For a year, he would keep me like that uh, excited. Yeah, and one was uh, that's what I mean. There's some shady managers from Hollywood. What, 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 what was this fight? Was it in Russia or? No, I was... think it was in U.S. Uh... Wow, yeah. bro, <laughs> that I, is crazy, bro. bro that's crazy. I would have so been you, mad as fuck. Because five thousand, I was like, fuck it. But uh, anyway, but you uh, didn't you didn't take that on Fedor because Fedor is cool as fuck. No, no, it's not Fedor's fault. But it's not uh, Fedor's fault. It, even that five thousand, I never saw. Maybe he took it for himself. <laughs> <laughs> but you never saw the five thousand. Nah, I never saw it. How old were you? I don't know. I was upcoming 20, 22, something. I, I already was dream champion, I think. Uh, so 23, 20. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Dream. How was dream? That, that was the same owners as Pride, right? Same yeah. Right, right after Rising. Yeah. yeah. Same uh, people. Saki Kibara son, right? I think so. I don't. Was bro, it right I'm, after Pride? Yeah. Bro, I'm going to tell you something. I love Saki Kibara. Yeah. I love him. But when I was fighting in Pride, he had like underlings. The one that they, I don't know what you would call them, but they was the ones who, they was like handlers for some fighters. So they had a, okay, when I was fighting in Pride, I, 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 I wanted to paint this picture for the MMA fans. There was a couple of different, okay, there was Saki Barasan. He was a, when I was fighting in Pride, he was a vice president. The president, I can't rem, I can't even remember his name because my memory is so bad. It's yeah. a Japanese name. He passed away. Okay. So the, the vice president was Saki mm -hmm. at that time. And then under him, who I had to deal with was um, these people who I dealt with. And we didn't see eye to eye and stuff like that, but that that was that was my that was my representation of pride and stuff like yeah. that. And, and you know, I I loved it, but I heard they did Dream, and it was the same as Pride, right? Was this Hakim Barra you was under? Yeah, same show, same build up. Uh, I don't know. My memory is not that good. Yeah, yeah, my memory is not that good. <laughs> but then they did Risen. Yeah. Or Ryzen, Ryzen. Uh, I yeah, think they pronounce it Ryzen. Yeah, yeah. Would you ever go and fight for Ryzen? No, I don't know. I don't know if they even have shows anymore. I don't. See yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah. still have shows. I yeah. was there. I was there New Year's. Yeah, but it's not that popular, anymore. or at least it's, I don't see it on the uh, on the social media or in, uh, Insta or bro, whatever. It died since Pride died and UFC brought Pride. And um, can I can I say what happened? What happened? Yeah, go ahead. What what happened in, in Japan from my knowledge from yeah. me fighting there was that um Yakuza owned Yeah. They lost uh, the TV deal. Yeah, they lost yeah. the TV deal because you guys remember the movie The Last Samurai? Mm -hmm. You remember in The Last Samurai they were trying to get rid of the the samurais? Yeah. So the same thing happened with the Yakuza. So in my opinion, I married a Japanese woman. And she wouldn't she don't I don't know if she don't know or she wouldn't yeah. tell me, but what my common sense because I have a lot of common sense. I'm not book smart. Yeah. I have a lot of common sense. Well, my common sense tell me from my my uh, experience from going to Japan and what I figure out from going to Japan is that back in the day, the samurai, they turned into the Yakuza. Yeah. But I, that's not confirmed. Yeah, but even Yakuza, is, uh, it's like a mob, but they don't go after regular people. Mm -mm, it's, no. They go into big companies, 
Even in that, they have like tradition. It's not like right. yeah. let's go rob a liquor store. Right. Or something. They have tradition. They're right. very respectful. But they they go they're for very, the highest people, right. highest they've, companies. Right. They're so very they're, respectful. Yeah. Say, say if there's a national disaster in Japan. They help out. Yeah. The, the Yakuza is the first one there to help out the fucking mm-hmm. regular yeah. people, right? Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I'm not saying they're good or bad people. Yeah. What I'm saying is that the Japanese government tried to get away with the Yakuza. Yeah. And the Yakuza had a big involvement in pride. Because yeah. I remember when I first went to Pride, I pay attention to a lot of shit. I never said shit. Over years, I never said shit. I just kept my mouth shut. And I'm going to Pride, and I remember walking down the hallway, and I don't know shit about Japan. And I remember guys walking down the hallways in suits and just regular Japanese people go against the wall and do like this. And they would bow to these guys walking around in suits. And I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Then I found out later, yeah. those guys would walk down the hall was Yakuza. And yeah. the people that, that will work there for pride, they show them respect, right? Yeah. So I have common sense. I'm not book smart. Mm-hmm. I fucked off in school. But, <laughs> Me but, too, don't worry. Yeah. But, I would have never but, guessed. But, but time out. Fuck what my story is mean, about. No, I'm just saying I would have never guessed. No, 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 no. Wait, he understands what I mean. No, 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 no. Listen. We are we are comrades. Oh, don't start with this. We are listen, comrades. He's listen, a fight. Listen, you trying to, no, no, no. You trying to embarrass me in front of another fighter? You trying? No, I, I I wanted to make sure that you were good on tequila. I want to make you, you want another shot. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> we got this got nothing to do with tequila. You just said that when I said I'm not book smart. You said what did you just say? No, because you're a funny guy. <laughs> you're funny. You make everybody laugh. You're a funny guy. I can imagine you being in class. I can't imagine you pulling out a scantron and clicking I your think little you can pencil. So say those things because. You, He's your friend, you know? Yeah, That's of course. Like, Thank you, Greg Amwasi. Thank you. But this, this I'm unbelievable. That, but this you know? is, hey, <laughs> I was going to This is the first time you're here, but yeah. but I know him. And personally, like, he does this whether there's cameras around or not. Yeah. He's very sarcastic. Very so what? sarcastic. I do not. I am have nothing to do. I hate Satan. What are you talking about? Sartanic. What did you say? <laughs> what did you? What word did you use? He knows I've been drinking. Listen, I had to drink. Hey, no. Listen, I had to drink. He's today. lightweight. He drank one drink. You know, because he has this girl that he's been trying to impress all day, and he goes, "Hey, if I drink a who little Grace? tequila, who Grace? I'm not trying to impress Grace because no, no, you know him. He's very funny, but sometimes if he's like not clicking, he goes, oh, I just need a little bit, and I'll, I'll get right back." Musashi, on Musashi, yeah. I got, I got to be honest with you. I've been drinking. I'm sorry, yeah. but I wanted to be in good spirits when I finally <laughs> sit down with you on. on thank you, brother. Thank, thank you. you. No, you're amazing. That's respect. <laughs> hey, we love you and no, we no, appreciate fuck you. you being here. Fuck you, because you made fun of me. No, I got to look out for you. No, no. Sometimes you be saying so, too much. Sometimes no. he says crazy things. I don't, what have I said that was crazy no, today? No, no, nothing. In the nothing. podcast, not. Yeah, not in the podcast. <laughs> out, out there is like, dude, you could. Today, he should have gave me a, like a pass, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. I'm trying to explain about. Because you fought, you fought in Pride as well. Yeah. Did you see those guys walking down the hallway? In the, in- I haven't seen them, but I know there's a hierarchy. So it's like, if you're the boss, they always show respect. If the boss say you work in the weekend, you just keep working. I know with Yakuza, maybe, yeah, mm-hmm. I guess it works the same way, you know? Right. So yeah. what I was trying to say before he really cut me off and tried to make fun of me, the only reason why UFC rose above Pride and bought Pride is because of the Yakuza. Because yeah. Japan got tired of them and they wanted to um, do away with them. Pride was the biggest show. What, what Pride? What's your first Pride? What number? Do you remember? <laughs> you don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember Mushida, the first Pride. Mushida, it was, it was the tournament. You fought Mushida? Uh, Mushida, but in uh, UFC and uh, later in Bellator. He signed oh. with Pride in two. But who did you fight? What was your first fight in Pride? Uh, Takimoto, those uh, Olympic judo uh, guy. So that was uh, early pride, right? Yeah, yeah, I broke his eye socket. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I have to tell him, he don't know. I'm learning. So, so what happened was they lost the Fuji TV. You remember that yeah, yeah, pride Fuji, was the I biggest know. thing. Yeah. It was on Fuji TV, yeah. and they tried to do away with this, with the, with the, um, with the, with the, you know, Yakuza. Yeah. He don't know this, and. I remember when they used to walk down the hall. It was really big there. And they had to do away with it. And I was in the middle of all that. And he don't know this. And he's making fun of me because I've been drinking. I I'm have, not making fun of you. you. You're very sarcastic, brother. One thing One thing I want to know is in 2006, the Pride Grand Prix, That's that was the Bushida, Bushido yeah. 11, right? That's what it was? I think so, yeah. Bushido 11? Yeah. So was that, the, that was, was that Pride 11, though? That's not Pride 11, right? No. 
I don't know. If you say Pride 11, I believe you. Yeah, okay. Well, because that, was that, your, first, was that your first Grand Prix? Uh, I did two, yeah. Uh, yeah. Dream, uh, I had Dream Grand Prix and I had Pride Grand Prix. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Do you, but, uh, do you, that was Bushido, Pride Bushido. Do you know yes. why the um, the organization was called Dream? Uh, no. Why? Because um, the people that own the organization or the co- corporation, whatever it was, that owned Pride was called Dream Stage Entertainment. Oh, God. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. But I think uh, uh, eventually, like, UFC would have... Eventually, for if you want to be the biggest or whatever, you have to come to America. I think UFC would have passed Pride anyway. No. No. But they bought it to just let it die so they can be really the number one guy, you know? Brother. That's... I'm gonna tell you this. Yeah. Pride was big worldwide. Like the only country I ever been to that people didn't know who the fuck I was was yeah. Africa. Okay. When I go anywhere in the world, back in the day, yeah. people knew about Pride before UFC. But then USC bought Pride, and then yes, I maybe after the Ultimate Fighter, maybe yeah. Pride got really big. Then with Conor Gang, yeah. But before that, brother, I'm telling you, pride was the best. But I feel like everything, if you want to make money or you want to be an actor or whatever, you have to come to America. With those things, like, it's always America. 100%. Those things, it's America does as well. It's like, Especially when it comes to media. Yeah, media, promotion, fighting, acting, singing. Eventually, but not like M- even... even not uh, MMA. Yeah, but even turning, what is that? Uh, the black girl is very good at it. She won all the Olympics. Gymnast. Gymnast, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, Romania was the best. So Romania would or uh, would win mm-hmm. all the Olympic gold. So what did America Sam, do? Sam, they Sam went there yeah. and they got all the good trainers. Now all the Olympic gold to goes to US. Yeah. So eventually things come to US. It's crazy, but that's a lot of time that how it works because people knowledge, money, people come here. You know, even with training, if you want to get better, become better MMA fighter, you come to. Uh, US. But why are you in Holland training? I didn't care that much about <laughs> fighting. I was like, uh, I like my family. I like my friends. I know, you know, there's some guys that uh, put their uh, food on the scale. They have to sleep eight, nine hours. They're like, those guys are like crazy. Go all the way. And maybe they become the very best. Maybe what is maybe like that. Uh, always never drinking, never this. For me, fighting was, it's work. I make money, and uh, but not I don't go all the way hundred percent. Tell us about it's not Holland. Like my life. Tell us about Holland because I only been to the airport. I never been to Holland. I always wanted to go because Boss yeah. Rudin, Boss Rudin. I'm I'm a big fan of Boss Rudin, and not only that, I look up to him because he's a very nice guy. He's a nice guy, yeah. and how much knowledge he has in the sport and outside of mixed martial arts. You know, I look up yeah. to like the people that done it before me. Yeah, uh, uh, plenty of uh, K-1 fighters. It's pretty good for a small country. They produce a lot of fighters. But uh, Holland's not really, uh, it's not like if you're a wrestler or a judo guy or that you get a lot of praise. So now they know more because Glory, uh, Rico Verhoeven, they know him well. But uh, if you like ice skating and uh, <laughs> darting and soccer, you're in a good place. Yeah. <laughs> well, how, how is it living there? Are, 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 are you married? No, no. I live with my uh, girlfriend. Okay. Yeah. But 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 me, I'm single. So yeah. how do women, is it easy to talk to women there? Is it like the food? Like- it depends. If you're a foreigner, it depends. <laughs> you have to make it. Otherwise, you get the rest. Uh, the, mm, I said... Mm, not the best. <laughs> is, your, is your girlfriend, is she Dutch or is yeah, she Persian? Dutch, Dutch, oh, she Dutch. Yeah, she Dutch. Yeah. I had a foreign girlfriend, Persian. Mm-hmm. Uh, they eat you alive. For real? Yeah. After that, never had a foreigner girlfriend. Bro, I've dated yeah. one Persian girl. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, they're crazy. They're crazy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. She it's tried to guess like me. Like, I was a crazy one. Yeah, but they're very good in playing with your head. You're going to think it's it's your fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's not I, you, brother. I know. <laughs> thank you. I thought I was crazy, but I'll tell you what, though. She's really good in bed, though. She was, she was, Wherever the sun shines, they're usually more, uh, you know. <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell you guys Freaky. this. I'm going to tell you guys this. If you can deal with this shit, Persian girls 
You know, from my experience, good and bad. Fuck that. <laughs> sex, is, sex is almost everything. Listen, have you ever dated a person? Yeah, I'm no, not no, talking fuck about that. that. You, why, why not? You why got not? three of your girls sitting right here. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Hey, dude? hey, hey, hey. Be honest. Oh, oh he, always, he always blew me up on camera. Be honest. Yeah. I don't have three girls sitting there. Do I? Oh, yeah, it's two. Two. Yeah, thank you. You're out of your mind. Listen, when did you get the nickname Dreamcatcher? I don't know. Some guy of, uh, was working for N1. He was like, hey, uh, but I had different nicknames. What was the other Mega name? Bond, Last Soldier of Fortune, <laughs> some King Ku from Japanese, so like some Japanese gave me name. <laughs> and then this guy said Dreamcatcher. And then uh, that one stuck. I don't know. I don't know. He gave me Dreamcatcher. What, what what nickname do you like? What, I never like nicknames. You just like your name. Yeah, because none of them really fits me. No, he's so relaxed. He's, he's a real, real motherfucker, though. Hey, you are the realest, he's bro. He's a realest, bro. You're so chill yeah, and relaxed. Yeah, he bro, walked in, bro. we're breaking chairs. He's like, hey, when's the podcast? <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, shit. he's like, man, I got dinner after this. I thought man. this uh, normal day here. <laughs> bro, you're, the, you're, the, you're one of the nicest guys. Very humble. Oh, thank you. Did you yeah. always have this attitude? Because it seems like fighting was just a way to make money, like Rampage. Yeah. It seems like all the, there's a common theme amongst pride fighters and dream fighters and fighters that fought overseas. Yeah. We just fought to make money and we want to enjoy our life. There's no... If fans are butts. But there's few people that are r born rich and they make it to in fighting. If you look at all the boxers, maybe there's always going to be a percentage that they have a rich daddy and still become successful. But usually, uh, you know, like the only way out. If yeah. you want to enjoy life and, you know, fighters yeah. like uh, cars, women, it's like, oh, that's a good way. <laughs> yeah. how, how fun is it? Tell, tell, he don't understand. If you're a fighter and you're in young, uh, yeah, it's really it fun. It's really fun. <laughs> he, he's just now getting to boxing. Yeah, and and I watch him, and I appreciate and I respect that he's getting into it and he's training, yeah. and he's getting better over 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 time. But he's a billionaire. I don't ever see him get <laughs> in the ring and actually fight. Yeah, no, but it's good that he's learned. I'm not. I just like doing it because it's fun. Because we all are here. We just like to have a good time. I could never do what you guys do, and I think we all know that. We we joke with the audience, but yeah. I've been doing this just for fun. Because every time someone comes like yourself, if they want to spar with Rampage or mess around, we like to go in there and then Bro, it's a, a he spars. Yeah, everyone, but, every but, one of my sparring partners I bring here, he spars them for two rounds at least first yeah. to warm him up. One, and I respect him for that. Yeah. A lot of people want to get in there and hey, sparring. It's fun though. It's for me, for someone who doesn't fight, if you're at home and you're looking at a good way, I lost 48 pounds sparring. That was my best cardio because I'm not going to go running. So yeah. if someone's looking to get in shape, go spar and, and break your nose a little bit. One thing, <laughs> one thing I want to ask you is in, in 2008 or 2009, ADCC invited you to ADCC championship. Yeah. And um, you were supposed to go and then, I don't know if you ended up. Yeah, no, I, I was not interested in it. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck that. They're going to submit me in one minute. I'm like, ah. Oh. <laughs> so, so was that just something? <laughs> I'm not a grappler. I'm not going to do that shit. <laughs> Are you are you not a black belt? No, man, like I'm a black belt. Everyone is a black belt nowadays. <laughs> oh my gosh, and I love it. I'm not a black. I'm a blue belt, brother. Yeah, yeah I, I can tell, brother. Really. I, I, I was beginning of my career. I would submit people because I would train those submissions. Yeah. Later on, I was like, I never trained them, and I never submitted anyone anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But you are a black belt in judo. No, even that. Not. I started when I was judo. When I was eight, I got like a brown orange belt. <laughs> and uh, on Wikipedia, judo guy. I'm not. I'm not a judo guy. I'm not. You're black belt. You're not. You're not a judoka. You go tell it right there. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. On Wikipedia, everyone can change that. You, did you know that? No. Everyone can go on Wikipedia and change things. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some fucked up shit about me on on with a. With Wikipedia, a yeah. <laughs> I need to change that shit. Rampage. Jackson. I don't know. You could you could go personally and change things. Oh yeah, yours yeah, has hey, all hey. kinds of weird stuff. Oh shit, my assistant left. Of all your girls left when you started talking about you having girls. That no, you, you did that. You, you hey, see what happens every bro, time. Bro, he cock blocks me every time. He's, <laughs> he comes every time. With five girls. What am I supposed to do? I'm trying to enjoy myself. Yeah, yours is yours is wrong though. Your Wikipedia says the things you enjoy to do is race American Muscle golf carts and eat hot Cheetos. It's like what it, you don't do any of these things. You drive Hellcats and you never eat junk food. So I, I don't, don't know fucking why eat hot Cheetos for one. I don't even get why it says that. So yours is wrong. We'll fix that later. In M one, <laughs> in uh, yeah, yours is really wrong. He in, doesn't really shit, say bro. that, his? bro. I yeah, don't believe. I don't crazy. believe nothing he okay. says, bro. Don't believe nothing he says. Now people know they can go and Indulging. change. I don't eat yeah, Cheetos. Yeah, yeah. I don't eat hot Cheetos. Maple glazed donuts is one of my favorite indulgences after using utilizing a cheat meal. I don't believe. That's crazy, I don't, right? Yeah, that's bro, crazy. Don't believe, don't believe shit he says, bro. Hey, one thing I want to know is an M1 that was, that's when you were going to do that, yeah. when you did the exhibition with Fedor. There was a quote, though, that did say that 
you know, you were like, hey, you know, I'm no longer going to be with the organization. You were very respectful, even though they screwed you. And we see now, 10 years later, they never paid you your 5000 <laughs> You're very respectful to all the organizations. I couldn't find a lot of quotes of you talking bad about people. You never really talked bad about other organizations, competitors, people that maybe did you wrong. Where did you, why, like, you seem like you live by this code, like no, you. you no, know? man, I, I do complain a lot. I think uh, <laughs> I complain a lot, but I'm like, also, okay, uh, I complained about UFC, but I'm like, okay, they're the number one organization. I made a name there. So you have to be also thankful. Uh, but I do complain a lot. <laughs> yeah. And when you left M1 in 2009 to do the dream, the Super Bowl, yeah. the Grand Prix, at what point did you did you realize that like you were going to just go organization to organization to organization? Was it the new management? Well, I was also in Canada. I thought, no, because I was trying to fight as much as possible. And uh, I was in Pride. Then it got, went bankrupt. I went, did some fights in Canada. And then Dream came. Uh, all the organization went bankrupt eventually. I used to, I had to fight in uh, Affliction. I would, I, I, but that went bankrupt. You fought in Affliction? No, I, I was supposed to fight there, but. Uh, you were supposed to fight Vitor Belfort. Yeah, Affliction. something like that. But you never fought Vitor. No, no, no. The, they got. No, he did fight Vitor. Jack I trained Affliction. with him back then, but in training, I beat him up. I was young, I was 20 something. I remember. I really felt like, oh, I'm beating this guy up. And uh, he was the first guy that I trained that was uh, famous. I was like taking him down and doing stand up. I was like, okay. Uh, I, 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 was gonna say, I was going to say this, but Bear don't know this because I got drunk. I'm going to tell you something. Real talk. Mm -hmm. Amongst the fighters, mm -hmm. not me, but a lot of fighters worried about him. Scared of him. Yeah. yeah. I'm be, I'm be honest. Day, Everybody I'm said good, that. But yeah. The, I yeah, know, yeah, I yeah. A lot of fighters were, hey, a lot of fighters were worried about you. That's respect, that though. Yeah. Bro, I'm going to tell you. Yeah. A lot of fighters were worried about you. It, on my good days, I looked really good. But sometimes I come, I'm not in fighting mood, and then I'm fucked. I don't, I don't lose bad, but I'm, I'm not, I'm it not, happens, I'm not the same guy. Yeah, yeah, it happens. A lot of, a lot of people don't understand that it, it's weird, though. It's yeah. like, Sometimes oh, you go in and you just don't come out. You, yeah, your it's just not your day. Are, yeah. It's just not your day. Yeah, yeah. And and people and fans will never understand it, but only fighters like me, yeah. we will understand. Like, yeah, yeah, it was it wasn't your day. Yeah. Maybe you could have beat that guy on a Sunday, or maybe yeah, you could have yeah. beat that guy the next week. But it's sometimes it's just not your day. Yeah. The problem is like you can be a better fighter than the other guy, but on that day you have to beat him. Maybe mm -hmm. you can beat him in like uh, twenty nine days, and on that day you might not beat him. It's like. On that day, on that time, you have to beat him exactly. But, yeah. So it comes up to who can mentally prepare himself good without injuries. Yeah. Going in there and doing the best it's, job. It's, it's yeah. the hardest thing to explain to non-fighter yeah. fans. Did, yeah. did you watch uh, UFC 300? Yeah, I did watch it. Yeah, yeah. What, it was what, a good show. It was a good show. Which, yeah. which one was your favorite fight? Arman, of course. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's Armenian. That's close yeah. to Persian, right? Uh, no, not a, yeah, it's close to, uh, as a country, they're uh, the same border, yeah. yeah, but the different religion and stuff like yeah. that, yeah. But he's yeah. doing well, he, he can fight for the belt, uh, become the first Armenian uh, champion, so. bro. He did good, he did, yeah. had a great axe kick, yeah. I like that one, yeah. He got it out of he got out he's of He's rich, actually. I heard his family is rich and he's still doing well, so that proves us wrong, bro. Well, he, <laughs> I didn't know that, but I'm gonna tell you something for this fighter to be rich. And still get out there and get his fucking ass yeah. kicked. It's you, you rich as fuck. So you can. <laughs> no, no, don't do it. Don't what do what, it. what what I'm gonna say? You Every want me to lie? I have goes into you and Los Lagos. You're in Chilagos. Chill out, Barry. What what the fuck you want me to say? You want me to lie? This motherfucker's a billionaire. No, no, I'm not. Listen, one thing I want to ask you is <laughs> he always try to deflect. No, no, you no. Know, listen, he he skips right a pass where yeah, I'm yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. explain. Yeah. To Once him. you say billionaire, he's like, uh, yeah, you don't want to talk about it. In 2009, you you beat up Gary Goodrich. How was that? was a yeah, I'm not gonna get. Hey, beat you beat up. Gary Goodrich. Yeah, yeah but he's twice your size. Yeah, quickly, I know, but uh, quickly. Yeah, it was. Uh, I wasn't that heavyweight, but uh, it, it was not that good. I took him down very quickly and then uh, ground upon and I finished him. I think I saw this fight, yeah. but my Wait, man, see if you can pull yeah. the clip of Gary Goodrich and and 
Ray yeah, Hart. but that was yeah. It's, just so Ray Hart. It's bad see it. for him. But Gary Goodrich had brain damage, whatever. That was, la- that was later. I think with the K one. Yeah, though. That's didn't, not, uh, did not, you, not because no, of no, 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 no. Time out, time out. Yeah. Did you give my brother brain damage? <laughs> not, not me. No, no, I didn't no, no, really no. knock him out. But no, you gave my brother. No, <laughs> he did. <laughs> no, don't put don't, don't put me on him. <laughs> you see, I want to be on his good side. Yeah. <laughs> you have to learn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but honestly, yeah. you didn't give my brother brain damage. No, no, no. But I heard. Stories yeah. that later on he, he had difficulties. Yeah, with, uh, uh, honestly, I yeah. I figured he got that after K one, but I didn't know yeah. you beat the fuck out of him. No, I didn't. I I beat him. He was just covering up. I didn't hit, really hurt him. You gave him brain damage. <laughs> How did you sleep at night knowing you gave? No, no, no. I was feel Gary bad about damage. that, but uh, no. Oh, okay. you didn't. Yeah, he I, got, at least yeah, he, he covered up, and then uh, I punched him a little bit on his head. Yeah, style. honest, honestly, he he got it in K one, not MMA. Yeah. MMA, we we've. All, We've only had one guy die. Oh, I didn't problem. even know. That. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, but, but guess what, though? I think yeah, but guess what, though? He wasn't even cleared to fight, oh. so it's not our fault. Yeah. Our sport is the safest full contact sport on the planet. Did you know that? Well, it's good that the UFC also takes a lot of precautions with the pre and post examinations, yeah. allowing people. One thing, talking about clearing for fights, you had like a knee injury in your first ever fight, right? And Dana White well, praised you for continuing with the fight. Well, you know, like I said, I, I'm fighting for money. So I was like, I was out for a year with uh, ACL surgery. And then in the recovery, I injured my, I tore my ACL again. And I had to fight Gustafsson in Sweden. I was like, oh, fuck that. Have you, have you ever had stem cells yet? No, it didn't. It's not gonna work with the ACL. I see. It will. That that's what they said. Who my, said that? My physician. But did you know, wait, time out, time out. He tore. Time out, time out. You tore it. Time out, time out, time out. <laughs> Is your physician American? No, no, no. He's he's one of the best actually in Holland. And he. Oh, okay, Holland. Yeah. And he said, <laughs> and he said, stem cells won't work. Uh, not on ACL. If you torn it, it's not gonna. Re- Re- yeah, you have to get an operation. You still. Yeah, let me do a favor. Yeah. Let Let us exchange phone numbers. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But but my friends at BioAccelerator, yeah. they don't lie to me. If they say, yeah, he's right, it won't work, I'll believe you. But if they say, yeah. Well, I heard good stuff about it. I know it helps with a certain injury. But ACL, if you tear it, you have to uh, get a new one. And then my doctor came, uh, he came with a leg in a blue I, bag. He was like, this yeah. leg cost 5,000 <laughs> yeah. 5, euros. I'm going to take a piece out of it. Bro, and, I told uh, my meniscus. Yeah. And they gave me a shot and it worked for two years. Yeah. I, and and they said, you should go and get it. Because I'm a, we are pro athletes. You should go and get a shot every year. All right, listen. So one thing I want to talk about is after the... The Gary Good. Oh, this is the Gary Goodrich fight. Wow. I can't That's believe you fought Gary Goodrich because he is a he's big, heavy. Yeah, he's big heavy. motherfucker. He, yeah. He's bigger than me. Really? I, I I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know. Bro, that. I remember. He's bigger than me. He's bigger. It was Cause, big. Cause but he, I, I took him down very easy because yes. he, he doesn't have a wrestling any no. background. So, Do you remember that fight in his fight in UFC? Uh, Yeah, with the elbows? Yeah, that was that was famous. That yeah. was my wrestling coach. That was your wrestling coach? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing at my wrestling I'm coach? I'm sorry. <laughs> See, that's how you uh, handle a rampage. Hey. That's what? how I handle Rampage. I like that. That's how a fighter talks. That's how I'm going to handle you. Not, not handle, but I mean, nah, that's, hey, that's how we're going to handle you, brother. Now, hey, he ain't worried about anybody. He's fought weapons. At the end of the day, He's fighters, the we can, at the end of the day, fighters, we have a camaraderie. We can make fun of each other, but you're not a fighter yet. <laughs> I'm not making fun of anybody. I would never make fun of him. You Let's I, watch this fight with, with fucking... He got his nuts all on fucking. <laughs> 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 yeah, hey, yo. I was trying to do armbar, but the, the, the guy was catcher. You got to chill. What kind of move is that? No, I wanted to do an armbar, oh, but the tea bag armbar. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It was strong. I couldn't get no, his arm. He was tea strong bag. as fuck. He was strong. Oh, that's I was like, oh, okay. Then the punch him he more. Did you know he was um, fucking um wrestling champion? I heard something like that. Yeah. But why you put your nuts on his face though? <laughs> yeah, what is that? What kind of what move the is fuck? That? Was? I don't know what it was. But look, he's not hurt. See, no, I didn't no, no, do no. him any damage. Oh, no. he wore rampage yeah. shorts for this fight. You guys yeah. were the same shorts. But he guys. was strong physically. But uh, not. No, he didn't have any techniques on the ground. Can I tell you? I just went to Japan yeah. last New Year's. I was there for maybe like less less than a week and a half. I got called Gary Gooch three times. He lives there. Let me see. No. Oh, okay. They just called me Gary Goodrich. Oh, hey, he's called. Hey, pull up a selfie of Gary Goodrich. I want to see if it looks like Rampage. Pull up a photo of him. What the? Why, why the, why the no, fuck no, no, you no, want no. to you, you, no, you don't look like him. Let me see. I, 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 see. I was just trying to report to you that I look nothing like him. There was one story that was, um, what was the, 
famous basketball Mag Magic Johnson and uh, what is the Django guy actor? Uh, Jamie Fox. Ja no, 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 Django, the other one, the who the plays white the guy? villain. The white guy? No, the black guy who plays the villain. Jamie Fox. Jamie Fox. No, the other villain. guy who, who there was no black villain in, there, in he, Django. He played like the slave. Uh, Jamie oh, Fox. Den Denzel Washington. De no. No. Michael B. Jam Jordan. Jamie anyway, Fox. Anyway, there were there were who? No. He's very famous. There was no Michael there B. was no black villain in, in Django. No, he was not no, villain. Michael B. Jordan he was, was okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, sorry. Let me... Django, he was the Samuel other... Jackson. No, 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 Samuel Jackson. Samuel Jackson. No. Samuel Jackson. Yeah, Sam what? Stop naming us all black actors. He's an actor. No, he's talking about Django. He's the guy with the patch of yeah. the Marvel yeah, movies. Shut Are you up. crazy? He was in the movie. Okay, okay, okay. God damn it. Who? Samuel oh, yeah. Jackson. It's yeah, a funny yeah, story. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't, don't, don't change your whole. Oh my God! Yes, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. He was he was actually in uh, in Italy and uh, with Magic Johnson, and they had uh, all these uh, expensive uh, bags from the Louis Vuitton, and and then someone had posted the refugee are uh, spending money, government money on uh, like like you can get uh, by Louis Vuitton and, the, yeah. and people went crazy on the comments like, oh, you have to kick out the pretty races in Italy. <laughs> Sometimes they confused. They didn't know it was Magic Johnson and Samuel Jackson. They were like, oh, we have to kick those refugees out. And But they had a picture on a bench with all Louis Vuitton, Gucci, I didn't, were, I didn't you live pull it, that up? In no, Italy, in Italy. I, they didn't, didn't know yeah. who they were. So. I didn't live it racist instantly. No, in no, 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 but there's a lot of, there was, no, in Italy no, they're, no, no, uh, they're, they're no, actually no. anything. They're actually anything. No, Italians, you. listen. No, 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 no. I have to guess. Listen, listen. I have to guess. Yeah. Uh, were there a little bit uh, racist in Italy? Italy, yeah, something. I heard Thank stories you. like, if you. That's where he's from. He's Italian. Oh? He's Italian. They're womanizers and a little bit, a little bit racist. So, so I heard there was a beach that blonde people couldn't go there. They re refused him. He, he and went I got there. spit in Italy by, uh, there were just two kids. By who? 16. I was walking with my brother. This two uh, in uh, Sicily, actually. Oh, they must and have been Russian. No, it was no, not Russian. No, no, they no. came. Yeah. They Fighters, they we, we trust they other fighters. Away. Who? On a bike. I don't know. Yeah. If I would have catch them, Impossibly. they would have been fucked. Impossibly. <laughs> I was like, this This is not the Italy I saw in so, the movie. So when you went, right, the Italy so, I'm from, you sit at a table on Sunday, we give you pasta till you fall out of your chair. Take me to Italy. Why? You eat enough pasta here. Why I got to take you to Italy eat pasta? No, I want to see what he said. I want to experience it. Last time someone tried to spit on you at the Honda Center, you almost ended up in jail. You don't need all that violence in your I don't life. give a fuck. <laughs> you see he, what I got to deal with? He yeah. said he went to Italy and they was a little bit racist against... The two black actors from the movie okay, well, I, I It's on the news. You can look it up. Yeah, you can look it up. News. He it's don't lie. News. Fighters don't lie. Yeah. We understand Maybe Google that. It, put it you can Google the it. Hey, Dream He's catcher. not lying. Dreamcatcher, I want to ask you a question. <laughs> Is it true that uh, <laughs> uh, you're the godfather of a very famous judokist? Yeah, son. Sado Shishi, yeah, yeah. Did you know this? Wait, wait. No, 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 no. Back yeah. this up. Back this up. Uh, Teach me this. You're a judoka? Yeah. No, no, Satoshi she was a judo guy. He came uh, living uh, in Holland, and he named his son uh, like not Musashi, but Musashi. But you can—it's the same almost. Yeah. Your name kind of do sound Japanese. Yeah, it was actually Mofsesian, and Iran. We shortened it. That's what I heard. It went to Mofsesi because it Mofsesian. Yeah, it's better. And then we came to Holland, and when we were in refugee camp, they mixed it up. They put it Musashi. And so, then it stayed like that. So oh, you're Persian. So you Persian. Born in Iran, Armenian parents. So are you Persian? More Armenian than Persian. Okay, you so yeah. your par your parents are Armenian, yeah. but you were born, born in Persian. In, also, they were also born in Iran. So okay, okay. Yeah. So mix. Yeah, it was a mix. mix. So half half. I have to tell you, I love Persians. You know why? My coach that got me to lose a lot of weight to finally fucking force me to train the right way is Persian. Yeah, they're very warm people. Yeah. He's but a, not now. Don't go there now because the uh, economy yeah. is bad. Yeah, <laughs> no. No, but what I learned about Persian people from him, I dated one Persian girl Yeah, and I didn't want I didn't want to have the experience from her. She was crazy. Yeah. I didn't want I had have the same experience. Don't worry. It's not Yeah, that. yeah. I didn't want to have the experience from her. But my coach, his yeah. name is Sean Rez. I was, when I first started training with him, I was like, 290 pounds. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It was bad. I was bad. I was fat mm -hmm. as fuck. And he was like, fuck this. This is what you got to do. He changed my life. And he is the most positive person I ever fucking met. In terms of your fighting career, because everybody knows that you're probably one of the most lethal guys in the division and in MMA history. 
And that's without a doubt. And that doesn't take anybody's opinion. That's fact. And the lineup speaks for itself. Your skills speak for itself. You know you still want to fight. What was the most impactful win in your career? What win did you have that you then thought to Don't yourself, say get over Gary Goodrich. No, 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 no. Uh, the, the fight that I was most happy, uh, it was a uh, two-week notice. I fought Gregory Bushlegam in uh, Cage Wars in uh, 10 days notice, actually, in uh, England. And... Uh, I remember I was like, yeah, I'm not, I wasn't training. But I went there, I knocked him out in the first round. And then uh, I remember I had the, late at night, I took the belt under my clothes. I was walking three, four in the morning because I had adrenaline, I couldn't sleep. I was walking down the street. I was like, I was so happy. But after that, uh, I don't know, you win, you lose. But the, never had that excitement. Like I was, I always wanted to have a belt. That was my four, first belt. That was your first belt. Yeah, so it was it meant something. But after that, it was like, okay, you win belt. Yeah. Belt don't mean that hey, much hey, anymore. Yeah, yeah, I understand it's what you mean. It's a childhood mean. dream. Did you hear what you know? he said, though? Yeah. He said after he knocked the guy out, he couldn't sleep. Small details. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? No, okay, what's listen, the detail? Listen, I know I've been drinking. I know no, I... No, no, listen. but what it is. Let me hear it. What's the detail? It's a... It's a civilians don't understand. I it's, don't... That's, <laughs> we want to know. So does 9 million people. What's the detail? The detail is, it's a natural high. Fighters, we don't mm. need drugs. Whenever I fought and I won, yeah, I I never slept that night. Yeah, I never. Yeah. It's a it's a different yeah, high. Yeah, adrenaline, adrenaline, it's adrenaline, and the it's drill. still is going and you you're pumped up. Yeah, and then the next day you have to fly, so it doesn't help either. Yeah. <laughs> you hear what he said? Yeah, yeah. Do, but but you you know, you hear it, but you don't understand. Mm. He said, "I understand. We just only have fifteen minutes, so I was just fuck that. I was, I'm sorry. Trying, I was trying to make sure that we we can I'm, get the I'm, audience a I, little more MMA." I'm history. sorry, audience. This is your first time seeing me drunk. You saw you guys saw me <laughs> high one time by mistake with the Wu Chu's. Hey, can you get the Beaver tranquilizer? Give him two shots, and then he could just. What's the Wu The Wu Chu. Oh, oh give him a Wu Chu. <laughs> oh no, I gotta tell him. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. We had Rick Flair on here. Yeah, I know. And Rick Flair, he was from promote his own weed gummies. Yeah. And I, if you had something to promote, if you had anything, t-shirt, anything, we'd like to promote you, right? So yeah. he would promote his woo chews. I don't smoke weed. I started smoking weed when I was a kid. But yeah. I haven't smoked weed. I started smoking weed when I was 17 when I started yeah. wrestling. But when I was like eight years old, I used to smoke weed. And I used so, to drink. I was a different person. So I changed my life. Wrestling changed my life. And I went to wrestling, wrestling in college. Become an MMA fighter, changed my life, never smoked weed, but I stopped smoking weed and he had fucking woo chews. Yeah. And I didn't think that weed fucking gummies would get me high. Yeah. Because one time in college, I ate weed brownies <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't do anything to me. He, yeah, ate, yeah. he ate two of these gummies, he couldn't yeah. stop laughing for three hours. Yeah. I was high as fuck. Yeah, but I, I, I used to go to my friends out. They would play PlayStation and they would smoke weed, and they had the best time of their lives. And I was so I couldn't smoke because I would cough. So one day I uh, put three, four grams, four grams. Uh, my, my friend told that's the worth of one month of smoking weed or whatever. <laughs> and then I watched YouTube. You had to put butter and milk, so it would the things that would come out, it would stay. And I drank the whole thing. And I had the worst trip ever. I thought every time I was closing my eyes, I was like, oh, my heart is pumping. I'm dying. And then uh, eventually I sat in front of my door. I was like, okay, if I die, people are going to find me. You know? <laughs> worst it's the worst ever. trip ever. Yeah. Huh? But weed is opposite for me. Yeah. I always get bad trips. I, I can. Some people Bro, get relaxed. Some I get, No, it was the worst thing. Yeah. I, I was paranoid. I thought, I know, yeah, I, thought the, I thought Rick Fair was thinking shit about me. <laughs> he was thinking about shit. He don't, yeah. he don't understand because... Uh, believe it or not, Bear is like straight X. He don't do any drugs or any alcohol. Yeah. So he don't understand and he don't fight. So that's why I try to explain him how we're different. Yeah. We're be Same hey, feeling so, almost. So we're, in, be hey, we're in, better than him, right? In terms of fighting, <laughs> let, let me, let, let's break this down for the Bear, audience. Thank you. We're, we're better than you. Yeah, you'll see. Uh, it's coming your way. So, so more like, so, yeah, okay. No, no, we get it. But the problem is, is Rampage, he beat me up yesterday. But yeah. he gets he gets high off that because the whole office watches. Yeah. So listen, in terms of the heaviest hitters, yeah. everybody always talks about someone they got hit by and they'll they'll always remember it. Is there someone that ever hit you and you're like, damn, that's the heaviest hit I've ever had? Well, in training, I had uh, I have my friend Robert Robert Soldik. He fight at one FC. He even don't hit you hard, but it it, it still hits you hard. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you can explain. It. It's like natural. Big puncher. Yeah, he's not. He's not trying. But he's he got, not even. Yeah, he's, but he had heavy hands. Yeah, yeah. In, in sparring, he hit me, and I'm like, oh. 
It, it hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Is that your full-time training partner? No, no. I train with him a yeah. lot. Yeah. He's a good friend. Did, you should did, train with Barrett. You should yeah. spar Barrett. Stop. Maybe you, afterwards. Yeah, maybe yeah, after. Yeah, yeah. I'll do For a the round views. or two. For the yeah, please, please. Knock him out. Do you, do you have a relationship with Boss Rune or Alistar? Boss Rune, I know. I, I met him a couple of times. Uh, Alistar also a couple of times. I saw him a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, oh, like... Um, um, not hang out, hang out, but uh, if I see him, yeah, I would consider him. Hey, when last time we talked to Alistair Overeem? I love Alistair. Yeah. I love Alistair. What? But ask, Gilbert. Do, you, do you talk to Gilbert or no? Uh, I, I've i seen him a couple times, but not ask lately. Gilbert, <laughs> why the <laughs> fuck did he fuck my fucking bitch? <laughs> That was my favorite. That was my that was my first Japanese yeah. girlfriend. That was my favorite. She was a slutty slutty. Oh, oh, that you need to watch the movie Frozen and let it go, brother. Hey, one thing I want to know <laughs> is is Izzy rose to the top in the UFC, and he rose to the top in the UFC right as like you were kind of like leaving, right? Right? Who? As Izzy. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. and mm -hmm. and one thing that me and Rampage were talking about was matchups. Yeah. How do you think you would have? Done I'll, against him. I felt confident uh, a couple of fights ago, but now I lost. I'm like, yeah, okay, <laughs> better not. <laughs> but is that, is because right now there's a fight. Like everybody's saying a fight with Derek Brunson's. They're saying um, the PFL. You know, they're saying we should see you back in the UFC. They're saying you should go to one. I mean, everybody wants to watch you fight. Yeah. So what are we going to do? Derek, How do we see you in there? Yeah, Derek Brunson makes the most sense. I yeah. think he has a big no, a big big name. Uh, he's in PFL, and uh, I mean, I think that's the fight to make now. And, and has PFL reached out to you to make this fight? Well, they said one time, hey, you want to fight him? I said, yeah, of course I want to fight him. And then heard nothing from them anymore. But how do how do we do this? Do I need to call the PFL and say, yo, what are we doing? Because we can't have a, a, one of the best fighters in the world be sidelined right now. Well, I don't know. PFL, uh, I, you know, I don't know. Yeah, call them, but so, I don't, they don't even pick up so our if, phone calls. Yeah, in all <laughs> honesty, if PFL doesn't make the fight, do, do you have the ability to go to one or go back to UFC? Well, uh, I reached out to the media, and then uh, if they don't uh, apply, and then uh, we can go further. I don't, I don't know. Has, you have has, to ask my manager. Yeah. Has, has, UFC Strategy. Reached, has UFC reached out to you at all? No, no, no. Yeah, no. No? No. I have a contract with Bellator. Oh, you do? Or Bellator PFL, yeah. For for how long? Three more? fights. Three fights, yeah. Three fights left on your yeah, PFL, dude. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I think that the Derek fight makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think people would like to see that fight, yeah. I would, it would be that probably, would that would make sense. Probably one of their biggest fights. Yeah. In terms of training right now, are you still training currently or no? I was training, but I let I let it go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey brother, yeah. you on the contract? You gotta keep training. Yeah. I know it sucks. I'm older. When you get older, you have to train, yeah. keep yeah, physical yeah, yeah. shape all the time. But uh, I train for a year, and then they don't give a fight. How long do you want to train? I, I, I go eat. How old are you now? Thirty eight. <laughs> <laughs> brother, are you, are you, you are a baby young under no, me. Uh, I'm forty five. Yeah, but uh, I'm over my, I don't know. I, no. I think I can still do it, but they have to give me a fight. Bro, bro, I'm going to tell you something. Mental, yeah. It's more mental. Yeah. yeah. If people don't understand this. When it comes to professional athletes, it's here. When yeah. when was the last time you trained MMA? Be honest. Uh, I was training in Holland, uh, maybe, but I, I stopped for a week, so three weeks ago. Okay. So yeah. I'm going to tell you this. Yeah. Honestly, you... You still love it, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. All right, so just start back training just for fun. Yeah. I okay. know. I, I was doing that, but like I said, it's it's difficult. Yeah. Whole year training. Bro, they haven't, I know. I know. I know. It sucks. Haven't fought for a year and then uh, to, what, wait another year? Yeah, brother. And then I, have I to know. train. It's like, okay. But, but how does this work? So it, just for the audience, and as we get ready to wrap this up, first of all, I want to say thank you. Thank it's, you. It's an honor to have you on here, and we all know how legendary of a fighter you are. So I keep wanting to say that. And I know the audience is going to say, yo, get off this guy's dick. But you have honestly set precedent. Why are you on his dick, though? No, why, why are you on his dick? So, he so just got here. I just, stop. So I just want to make sure that you know that the flowers you deserve, because we know how humble you are. We know you're not the guy to be on social. And so sometimes fighters like you, this like generation of fighters, I love this. That's why I do this. I'm not a fighter. I do the show because I just love fighting. You guys deserve the flowers because you set precedent of what a real fighter means. So I just want to tell you that face Thank to face. You. And I appreciate you flying way over here for this. But in terms of fighting, like I don't understand the manager side and obviously your manager's here, but if they don't give you a fight and we're seeing this a lot right now because there's so many organizations that are getting swallowed up and there's not a lot of options. Have you ever been swallowed? Stop. <laughs> so if they, if, they don't, if they don't give you a fight, how do you get Any out of plus this? this uh, show, yeah. I think. <laughs> how, how do you get out of this predicament if they don't give you a fight? How do we go get a fight? Like, well, I have a contract. Uh, I know... Uh, 
from contract that they owe me at least one, and then uh, you know they, they they can let the clock run out, whatever. But uh, they owe me one fight at least. So sooner or later they have to give me that fight. But uh, like they can play, they can let me wait a year or whatever. So otherwise we have we can always take other measures. So so guys, I just, I'm gonna say this to you guys: if you a fighter and you got a contract. Make sure you put in your contract that if they don't use you within a certain time frame, they have to fucking pay you. Because our job is fucking fight. We're yeah. entertainers. We're fucking fighters. So if they don't use you within six months, eight months, 12 months, and they don't fucking use you by their own accord, they got to pay you your fucking to show fight. Yeah. So, you know, the difference was uh, with Bellator, uh, Scott Kogo was in charge. You know, Scott Kogo, I feel like he's a friend, so it's easy to, you know, you, you there's a trust and you work with it. Mm -hmm. And then you, suddenly your boss change and then it's a different different thing. So that's the thing. I didn't know the Belter would get sold. And uh, so things change and then you have a different boss and uh, they want to do it a different way or they want to cut your pay or they don't want to give you a fight. So things change after that. You, you never know. Yeah, yeah I know. That, that's this, fighting. This, no, that's no. the worst position. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the worst position. Yeah. But for me, it worked out. When I went to UFC, yeah. I went to um, this one small show, WFA. Yeah, yeah, I know. And they brought my contract so I could fight Chuck because Chuck Liddell. Oh, yeah, you had pay-per-views. Yeah, I yeah, heard that yeah. story. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a crazy yeah. story. Yeah, You made good money. And yeah, I'm, uh, the most money I ever fucking yeah. made. Yeah. But, yeah. You were on the same thing. They, they, they brought the... The better tour, yeah. You ha you have to have your manager talk to him like, look, honest. You had to just be understandable. Like, look, I understand you guys brought this this organization, but I'm at this age where I only got a few more fights left. I only got, or you could say, I only got a few more years yeah. left to me. If you don't respect that, fucking let me go. Yeah, and then you can go back to the UFC, or you can go and do like boxing. Who knows? After Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. You can go and fight Jake Paul. You never know. Yeah, that would be difficult, Jake Paul. But uh, yeah, it, <laughs> yeah. But it, uh, I know, I know, I know. You know what, you mean, you know what I'm know. saying? Is yeah. this is this an analogy? Yeah, it would be difficult with Jake Paul. But honestly, I don't think Jake Paul could beat you. I've seen you fight. You I want, think I would beat Jake, Jake Paul. Paul. I think you'd beat Jake Paul. Jake Paul is fighting a 58 year old Mike right. Tyson. I mean, that's not fair. You know, that's not uh, fair. Yeah. I think you'd beat Jake Paul, but yeah, we don't. Right. We don't want him to know that because if he thinks that you would bring him, be him, uh, you would yeah. never fight. <laughs> yeah. So we're not gonna. We're not gonna touch <laughs> on that. Yeah. Greg Hardy versus Jake Paul in a boxing Bro, fight would be uh, insane. I'm gonna tell you this. I haven't watched a lot of MMA fights, and I don't know a lot of MMA fighters. But I've been knowing about you for a long time. Thank you. That brother. might not mean yeah. much to you, but yeah. Bear knows me from doing this podcast it got me back into MMA but I've been knowing about you 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 are a legend that. you are a legend in the motherfucking fight thank you brother thank like, you. all fighters it. like fucking salute you and look up to you thank you know what I'm saying yeah. you deserve all the accolades all the flowers you the fucking thank man you, thank you. you and now that I've hung out with you for today and I apologize that I was drunk today no problem. We're going to celebrate that. Listen, we're say, since hey, since hey, 2003, you you've been fighting. As we get ready to wrap this up, I know we only have a few more minutes. One thing I want to say is since 2003, you've been fighting. It's We're going into 2024. Um, obviously, some records are wrong on the internet. It says you have over 90 professional fights, right, in MMA. Not and in 90, no, no. 90, 90. that's no, a lot no, of yeah, fights. 90. Yes, 90 in total with all my boxing. Yeah, yeah, with, uh, more all, than 90. with all just professional fights. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously, like a guy like Mashida, a guy yeah. like Henderson, you fought some of the best, right? Yeah. Explain to me, because a lot of people in our Jackson podcast on the Discord, they want to know how good Dan Henderson was when you beat him. Well, well you know, with the Dan Henderson was, uh, sometimes I, I came in with the determination because I felt like I have to prove something. And uh, I did knock him out. And then, but it's, you knocked Dan Henderson out? Yeah. How can I miss that one? But we watched the clip earlier. It's the tequila's missing it, not you. <laughs> I'm so drunk. what happened? I'm drunk. Yeah. But uh, some, like I said, uh, Dan Henderson, maybe, maybe, but Dan Henderson was also not Dan Henderson of uh, yeah. in pride. You know, it's different. You you fight certain people at certain time, it's maybe different results. Mm -hmm. But I, I caught him and then I finished the fight. Like I said, sometimes. Uh, what you catch him with? Please, I'm sorry. What you catch him with? I'm, I'm, right hand. Yeah. Bro. He came in, I got him with the right. He was... Known my, for his right hand, yeah. Did you know I fought him? 
Yeah, yeah, I seen that one. Yeah, he was my hardest fight to date. Yeah, he's a tough, tough guy. Yeah, everybody he says he's up. one of the toughest fighters. Uh, so toughest fight, just and you're not gonna r- just was a straight. Uh, just yeah, he, he him goes. Up. Yeah, yeah. He does. He's not a big guy, but uh, Quinton is big guy. Yeah, yeah. But he's still uh, he's yeah. tough. Yeah, he's tough, and he's uh, he fights anybody. And then, yeah. and right before we leave, I want to get your opinion on Leota Machida. You fought yeah, him twice. First time, uh, first time I fought him. Um, it was in Brazil, somewhere in a fucking desert. I don't know where <laughs> I was. It was like the stadium was good, so they h- held the fight there. Uh, and then uh, I remember going there. I looked at him. He looked, he's, you know, I looked in his eyes and I was like, okay, yeah, this guy, this guy is serious. But uh, he was also very lean. Like he had six pack and I was like, okay. And then he beat me fair and square. Even, But I felt he was uh, greased up because one time I had his back, I chimed it down. But uh, he was just a better fighter. And then second time I fought him uh, in the in the weigh-ins, I look at him and uh, just just saw in his eyes not the same person. How did you train for Machida though? Cause I, yeah. I had to bring karate guys in. Yeah, yeah. I had also first time, but the first time I uh, I forgot I was just walking and going going forward forward, and he was just clipping me. And uh, did you bring karate guys in? Yeah, your yeah. Camp and the second time I was uh, also countering. I was saying, it was not a lot of action, but that's the way you have to fight him. Because if you go in, he just catches you. Bro, that's a tough fight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. a tough fight. Machida's... Yeah, he's a tough guy. Yeah, he's a tough fight, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is Technical. St- technical. Yeah. 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 Because you don't know the style, so you have to adjust everything to his style. So yeah. you, yeah. he beat you once, and you beat him once? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Respect. And Respect. the last thing is, you were scheduled to potentially fight Vitor Belfort in Affliction. Yeah. You ended up not fighting him in Affliction. It never yeah. went through. But I, then you got to fight him in the UFC. Yeah. How did I, that I, go? Yeah, but uh, like I said, in training, I, I was I was much better than him. And then in UFC, he he asked for the fight himself. He wanted Why? to fight me. I don't know because he thought I'm a stand up guy. Uh, he had the best chance to uh, to win from me. So he asked that fight uh, against me, and uh, but I beat him fairly easily. But, but did you feel that he had the power and the strength of nah, nah, nah. the original V3? No, nah, I took him down first round and then the round ended and then second round I caught him with a high kick. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people talk about Vitor. Yeah, a lot of people talk about Vitor Belfort, Dan Henderson. And one other win that you have that was phenomenal was the Chris Weidman win. Yeah, yeah. That one, I was, I was in the fight and I need him. I wasn't thinking, oh, his hands are on the ground or not. I wasn't thinking about that. But then... Uh, what was the referee name? I forgot. Uh, very famous referee. Herb Dean. Herb Dean, yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, he's a good guy. But he did the replay and his finger came up just millimeters. But I didn't do it deliberately. They yeah. thought I pulled him up to give him the knee. But I was just, I was in the fight. I was like, I'm going to knee him. And, <laughs> and yeah. then he, he was playing like, oh, I got hurt and whatever. Yeah. But he wasn't. And later on, because they asked him what date are we, he said, I don't know. And blah, blah, blah. He was, he wanted a way out. And then, it worked against him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, some of these videos and some of the highlights we watched of you are just phenomenal. And I don't think a lot of people really get to talk to you and, and have yeah. this in-person interaction. It's cool that the fans can kind of see your vibe and your energy because it's phenomenal, dude. Yeah. So that is yeah, nice. I appreciate yeah. it. I appreciate it. Yeah. And he don't wait for anybody. No. Because oh, most, most of the time, you. like, we had a fighter come <laughs> in here and uh, he, he was supposed to come. His name's Ian Gary. Yeah, I know. Good fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And fuck him that, and Rampage. Fuck that nigga. Yeah, yeah. Fuck oh, he's supposed to come here? Yeah, 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 Rampage has beef with him. Nice. Rampage but, had beef with him. Yeah, I thought he would Ariel Hawani. Hey, yeah. Ariel Hawani, we want you on the show, but you also started all the drama. We oh. wish you would have helped us. I don't respect him. No, no, no. I, I, right. I, I never thought he would dare to come here. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Fuck him. What do you think would happen if Ian Gary and Rampage Jackson got in a fight? He would lose, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> See, he's got your back. Bro, <laughs> bro, I got, I got respect um, for fighters like you. I'll, yeah. I'll, hey, I respect all fighters. Anybody mm-hmm. that's yeah, in the yeah. cage. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But a guy like him that don't, like, respect my, my sense of humor. Because everybody's different, right? Yeah, yeah. I know I'm different than other fighters. But this is the thing, though. Today was a very bad day for me, but... I know myself. I didn't yeah. name myself Rampage, but what I want to do is I want to be here for you because I respect you. Thank you, brother. And you, you, you've been putting it. You've been putting the hard work for a long, long time. Thank you, man. And I had Thank to show you, you. I had to show you respect. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Listen, it means the world. Yeah. And it means me the world to me that you're happy to have Thank you here. You. And yeah. one thing I want to say is, to be last here. thing yeah. I want to ask you is, a lot of people on the internet want to know: Is there one person you wish you could have fought? Uh, in the UFC? Yeah, I always wanted to fight Anna Silva, but it never happened. Uh, I, I was supposed to fight him in, uh, in England. 
Mm. I had that fight. Uh, main uh, main event, and then uh, 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 what is the uh, English guy? <laughs> Michael Bisping. Michael Bisping. He yeah. took the fight away from me. You you fought Michael Bisping? No, 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 no. no he took no. that he fight. Fought. Michael Bisping. Yeah, and then Anderson came and took the fight. And one time also, I, um, the uh, John Jones fell out. So I was supposed to fight uh, DC. I, they, they were looking for uh, wow. a replacement. You, you, you was going to fight DC? I said, John John. yeah, because they said, we give you half million. I said, yeah, oh, well, yeah why yeah, not? Yeah. Yeah. I was hey, like, he'll real motherfucker. He'll yeah. fight DC, John Jones, the best. And what were you uh, weighing at the time? I was, uh, I was uh, 185. No, no, yeah, 200. Yeah, 200. Uh, yeah. Bro, this was what I learned about this fight. Silva came also and took the fight away from me. From Bro. Two, uh, three day notes. So what Thank they you. They called yeah. you yeah. They said yeah. no more You don't understand this about us. Yeah. Do you care about weight class? Hold on, look, look. No, I'm going to fight. That's no problem. You know, that's the thing. It was USC 200. He was he was gonna compete against uh, Chiago Santos. Uh, John Jones fell off. He was cutting weight from 185. He said he'd go up to 205 and fight DC on three days' notice. Bro, can I leave this in? Yeah. yeah of course. Wow. That, and that's your that's his manager. That's what bro. I'm saying. If they pay, I fight the King Kong. Who cares? You know. Wow, bro. Yeah. Real fighters like him. Hey, this hey, this is something you don't. This is something you don't know. <laughs> I don't give a fuck how mad you get, but real fighters, we all of us respect him. Yeah, we, I I get this. That's why we <laughs> no, got no, him you here from Amsterdam. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You may not. I don't know what you know, but we all respect him. You know why? Yes, because he don't give a fuck how much. Oh, he's you a weigh. fighter, bro. He's, he's a not fuck. here for Instagram. No, culture over give, clout, my brother. No, he ain't with that clout shit. He don't give a fuck how much you weigh, your accolades, <laughs> you champion, what. He will fight any motherfucking body. So before we leave, how many more years you want to keep fighting? Tell me. I don't know. Uh, at least two fights uh, I want to get in it. And then uh, depends on all, always results, injuries, you know. But how are you, you, are, right now? Yeah. are you the first Persian fighter that made it to your level? Uh no, uh, who yeah, else? Darius, for sure. Darius Without is also who? No, Darius no, no, no. is also. No, no, thank you. I never heard of him. I'm sorry. He's, he's Listen, also like uh, you no, no. You humble as fuck. You humble as fuck. You get the flowers. Yeah. You, you get your flowers. Stop. Stop. I'm sorry. I'm I'm keeping it 100. I never heard of him. Everybody, stop. Stop. Don't say that. I'm sorry. Oh my, bro. You never heard of him. Who? All right, listen. No, this no, no, is the one no, and only no, to ever hey, do it. Hey, I'm Bernie hey, Genio. Hey, that's Rampage Jackson. Nothing. And Bear. this is Bear. Gregor Mwasi. All the way, 12-hour flight, 13-hour flight? 14 12, hour. 11. 11 <laughs> 11-hour flight with this management team here at the Jackson House. Don't I'm about to get Rampage three rounds in the gym, <laughs> and we're out. 